Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. I understand there's going to be a lot of you out there who watch this video and you say, well, I've never done this before in my life and I've never had a problem. Well, that's excellent. I'm not saying this is going to happen to you, but where I live, there's a lot of gravel roads, uh, uh, bumpy roads around, especially that washboard in the gravel roads around here. Hopefully you all know what washboard is. So I thought that this warrants a video. This does not apply to chainsaws or weed eaters like two strokes and stuff that have these little cube carburetors on them. You're not going to have this problem with that. You, you have to have a carburetor that has a float bowl on the bottom of it like this one here too. And I also understand that if you have an, an engine like a, this, my GC160-190, it's got a fuel pump on it like that. If you have a fuel pump on there, this isn't going to be an issue for you either. It has to be gravity fed, like that's gravity fed right there. There's no fuel pump, it just uh, right into the carburetor bowl. You load that in the back of your truck and you start driving down a bumpy gravel road, especially that washboard is a killer. It starts vibrating your truck. And uh, let's have a look inside of this carb and I'll show you what I mean. That little float bowl, right? That little float in the bowl starts vibrating and, and bumping up and down and fluttering. Now, every time it does that, it lets a little bit of gas through the needle in seat. If you have an internal vent on that carburetor and it's flooding through like that because you're on a bouncy, bumpy road, it's going to flood gasoline into your engine oil and build that engine oil level up. If you have an external vent on it, then you're just gonna have a big puddle of gas on the bed of your truck is gonna be coming on the outside. I'm not saying that's going to happen to you, but it is very possible. I've seen this many times. All is you have to do when you get that in your truck and you're ready to transport, it takes a fraction of a second to reach over and turn the fuel valve off. Done. That's not going to happen to you now. It can't flood through because the fuel valve shut off. I hope I help somebody out there. I'm just trying to save somebody some frustration. Again, I'm going to say it again. It's probably, it might not happen to you, but just in case, turn your fuel off when you're transporting uh, that type of equipment. And uh, I think that's it for me. Cheers. Steve out.